it's Carly Myers here, and welcome back to the Stress Less Career Show, the show where we talk about how to have a stressless uh, career, stressless career, or definitely reduce stress. So, what are we talking about this month? Well, we are actually talking about personal brand. How does that play into finding work you love and having the career that you've always dreamed of? Last week, we talked about how core values are the foundation of your personal brand. This week, I really want to talk about thinking about, talk about how you can think about your personal brand as a TV show. Now, what does that mean? Well, when we think about TV shows like the George Lopez show or I Love Lucy, we think about a specific personal brand. When we think about I Love Lucy, we think about the quirky, quirky girl. I mean, I think about the quirky woman who's always getting into trouble, who's really funny. She's always hanging out with her best friend and getting, you know, getting into these really funny circumstances, right? She's the quirky, funny, you know, uh, adventurous type of person. That's her personal brand. Now, when we think about career and how we're going to get into the idea, our, our, our ideal work environment or get into, you know, a corporate gig, if we have our own business, or get these opportunities, we have to really think about our personal brand, because these are the things that people think about when they think about you. So George Lopez, and I love Lucy, and, and there's plenty of other people that have had their own shows. They, sh they give us an incredible example of how there is a whole picture we need to think about when we're thinking about our personal brand, how we're interacting with other people, what, you know, what is your theme, you know, what is your theme music? What is that invoking, right? When we think about how we're going to put ourselves out there in social media, how we're going to put ourselves out there on our resume, how we're going to put ourselves out there um, in our cover letter, on our, you know, YouTube channel, in relationships, at a party, this is all your personal brand. So when you think about yourself, like if you had your own TV show, I think this is probably the easiest way to think about it. If you had your own TV show, what would people describe about you? Would you be that quirky, funny, go, you know, happy go lucky type of person? Or would you be the tell it like it is, you know, IT smart guy, right? What would you be? How would you describe yourself if you had your own show? When you're able to do that, that becomes the essence of your, your personal brand. So we talked about core values. We take that into consideration when we're thinking about if I had a TV show, how would I want to be described? How would I be described? That is your personal brand. Now, next week, we're going to be talking about um, personal style and how that plays into it. You can say, um, here's an example. You can say you are a coach for uh, the million dollar up and up club or, you know, some, you know, that type of person. And if you're not wearing a suit and tie, you don't fit the part. That's not part of your personal brand. Right. So thinking about how does the way you dress, how, did, how does the way you dress influence your personal brand? We're going to talk about that next week. I'm super excited uh, to talk about it. And um, so this week's exercise, think about how you want to be perceived or how you think you would be perceived if you had your own TV show. And let's start putting that concept of who you are into your everyday actions, into your everyday social media posts, your resume, your cover letter, the whole nine yards. Personal branding is incredibly important because when they think of you, you want them to think about, you know, your personal brand, what you want them to think about. You don't want them to think about a poor reputation, right? How you showed up late. That doesn't, when it doesn't fit with your core values and who you want to be, how you want to be perceived. So this is something we want to be really strategic about. And it's going to really make you stand out against your candidates, against your competition, you know, regardless of if you own your own business or you are, um, if you are job searching and trying to find, get that promotion, et cetera. So Thank you guys so, so much for having me. And if you haven't heard it today, you are kick-ass, you are smart, you can do anything. I'm telling you anything that you put your mind to. So I love you, I love you, I love you. And I will see you next week for the Stress Less Career Show. Okay, bye.